Oh, wow. Look at the size of this place. This is Tokyo Stadium, and it was home to the football, the rugby, and the pentathlon during the Olympics. And I'm glad to finally be here. Japan's delayed summer of sport finally got underway in 2021. My name's Steve Brown, and I was supposed to come over for the Paralympic coverage. Not being able to make it out was a huge blow. The whole thing about sport, it's not just about watching it, it's about feeling it, that immersive experience. Before I was a presenter, I was captain of the London 2012 wheelchair rugby team. And when I was in hospital, sport was what got me out. It was definitely the, the building blocks to the person that I have become. Tokyo holds a special place in Paralympic history. It was all the way back at the 1964 Games that the term Paralympic was first used. But being disabled in Japan hasn't always been easy. It's often seen as a country that values conformity and fitting in. So, at the end of this Paralympic year, I'm finally getting the chance to explore Japan and find out what life's like for those who stand out from the crowd. Along the way, I'll meet some old opponents, discover a hidden tropical culture, and ride the waves with some adaptive surfing. My journey across Japan begins in the capital, Tokyo, the world's busiest city where I'm on my way to meet some former rivals. It's excellent to be sitting here watching the Japanese Paralympic team doing their training. So wheelchair rugby has got this nickname Murder Ball and you can see why it's the only full contact wheelchair sport there is. Your opponent is going to be working very hard to knock you out of your chair. So you've got to work hard to knock them out of theirs. The team won bronze at the 2021 home games. And I remember facing them all the way back at London 2012. So, very nice to see you again. Of course, it was a very different game because of coronavirus. How did that affect you, not having the crowds here? So, I was a friend of mine, but I think the best game of the rugby in the world is a very important opportunity for me. So, I think it was a great opportunity. How do you feel people's acceptance and understanding of, of disability is? Do you feel like it's something that's maybe been hidden away a little bit? So you ま、見方、ま、変形ではないですけど、見方の違いっていうのはそのパラリンピックがあって、ま、テレビだったりとか、ま、メディアネのま、障害者、障害を持った方の露出が多くなったことで、あ、こういう選手がいるんだ、こうい
So will I come on? You won't find many of these adapted escalators around the subway. Normal lifts are far more common. Brakes are on. Yep, yeah, no problem. And that's probably a good thing. Okay. And it's done. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, that was terrifying. But on the surface, there are old pockets of Tokyo that can still be a challenge to get around. We're in Goldangai, and that translates as Golden City, which is quite a strange name for a place no bigger than a football pitch. The place is just starting to open now. If I'd left it another hour or so, this would be starting to get much busier. And on these narrow streets, I think I'd have trouble getting around. See, look, this is a perfect example. There's no room for me in there. There's a step to get in, and the door's too narrow. A few blocks over, there's an area where another group of people are finding their voice. It's called Nicho May, and it's said to have the highest concentration of gay and lesbian bars in the world. I've arranged to meet Nunu, who works here. And what's the attitude like to the LGBT community in Japan? So, ですね、あの、昔、少し昔は割と偏見でしたりとかっていうのがあった印象はあるんですけど、ここ最近ですとその イメージっていうか悪いイメージっていうのはなくなってきてるのかなっていうのは体感で思います。僕も声が結構低いので買い物とかするときにまあお話レジで話したりするんですけど悪い顔をされないようになってきてるなっていうのは思います。Nunu works at the Onanoko Club, which calls itself a cross-dressing bar. The club welcomes people of all identities. Nuno identifies as trans and was originally a customer here. 初めて来た時はすごい不安だなと思って足を運んだんですけど、あの、最初に this pocket of Tokyo flourished because it gave people a space outside of the mainstream where they could express themselves without facing disapproval. But tradition still has a powerful hold over Japan, as I'll find out in the next stage of my journey. Now it's time for me to leave the capital on board one of their famous bullet trains. So what's happening, Mozo? Oh, so we're just trying to book wheelchair space for you in the Shinkansen. Right, OK. Some lines saw the number of wheelchair spaces on board treble in the lead up to the Paralympics, but it takes a while to find me a space. It's turning out to be quite a faff, I think. They recommend that you book it all up in advance to save all of this, you know. That doesn't work if you don't know you're traveling until an hour before you need to travel. Hey. All sorted. Well, here we go then. I'm on my way to Oshima Island, a thousand kilometers west of Tokyo, and more than five hours by train, to an area that remains enthralled to centuries old traditions and customs. That's a big flight of steps. Here we are. Oh. Wow. 
Getting up here might have been a bit of an effort, but it was certainly worth it. You don't see many places like this, do you? This is the Akitsamiya Shrine. It was built in the 18th century to pay homage to a holy island some 50 kilometers off the coast. Okinoshima has been worshipped for well over a thousand years, lying between Japan and the Korean Peninsula. This museum tells the story of Okinoshima all the way back to its earliest religious ceremonies in the 4th century. The island is a sacred place with a very strict door policy. あの、沖縄市民には行けません。基本は宗方神社の神職さんと、あと保存管理に専門家が入るぐらいしか、あの、基本的には一般の方は入らないんです。Have you seen the more than 80,000 artefacts have been found there, which led to UNESCO naming it a World Heritage Site in 2017. But the old taboos mean only men can set foot on the island, and Miki can't join her male colleagues on archaeological expeditions. え、Watching these videos, it certainly has got this kind of eerie, mystical power to it. I might not be able to go myself, but one way that tourists can experience Okinoshima is by trying a Masogi ceremony, a special cleansing ritual performed by all the island's visitors. わあ。イエス、カウント。そして、あの、肩まで疲れるようになったら、こちら、あの、私の方を振り向いてもらって、ちょうど沖ノ島の方向を向かって、こう、手を合わせてもらえれば大丈夫です。最終や、トウジョウ
ありましたので日本と中国どちらの文化も取り入れながら発展してきた国です。Back in the 15th century, the Ryukyu Kingdom united the islands that now form Okinawa. They were a trading people, and today, an international influence can still be felt in their art and design, their architecture, and in their food. Okay, well, this all looks very nice. I think I'm going to start with this. What is it? This is tofu. まあ、料理になりまして、こちらも沖縄の伝統的な料理なんですけど、まあ、一度にたくさん食べる料理ではなくて、少しずつ食べていく料理です。It smells strong. Has it got strong flavor? 強いです。Yes. Okay. Wow. That is a strong flavor. <laughs> I need to wash it down. So, so what is this? 阿波盛という琉球のお酒です。日本酒と違ってタイのお米を使って作られています。That's nice and it's quite smooth, fragrant. Or maybe I'm just washing down the the fermented tofu. But Ryukyu and culture hasn't always been embraced by the mainland. In the 19th century, after it became part of Japan, there was a crackdown on local customs. To so no, ma, ho gen o kin shi shite to hyojun go, de to Okinawa no uta ya odori de nakute to ma Nihon no uta ya odori, so yu mono to kyouku de don don susume te itte, so de ga Meiji kara de dai nichi sekai tasen ga owaru koro made so yu seisaku o shite ikimashita. Next on my tour, Chiako takes me 30 kilometers down the road to Shuri Castle. It's on the top of a steep hill, so I've brought along an extra set of wheels. So, here we are then. That was a big entrance into an open space. What happened here? ここにはお城がありました。でも火事で燃えてしまって。今はほとんど残っていません。I've come through, and it's just a construction site. That is, that is the only way I can explain it. That was what I was expecting to see, and it's such a shame. When it was standing. Shuri Castle drew around two million people a year. Then, in October 2019, a fire blamed on a faulty electrical system tore through the wooden palace, destroying all the main buildings. The debris has been cleared away, and the site is once again open to tourists. Where they can find out about an ambitious new reconstruction that's currently underway. あの目指すべき姿というのはオリジナルその琉球王府の時代の姿です。ただそれを実現するにあたってはあの王子の姿を取り戻すその技術ですとか材料いろいろありますけれどもそういったものを使いつつもやはり二度とあの失われないためには最新の技術。のきひらがわらとのきまるがわら、あの丸いタイプと平たいタイプを組み合わせながら作るわけですが、この二つです。So this is smoke damage. Yes. You can feel the weight of them. They're a real solid piece. How many are you going to need to make? あの今の復元の中で一番最初に作るのがこの建物ここにありました正殿メインホールですねを作るんですけれども、おおよそ六万枚の瓦が必要になります。It's not the first time the castle has been destroyed and rebuilt. It had previously been bombed during the Second World War. Its reconstruction turning it into a symbol of Okinawa's resilience. It's tragic to see all this devastation, but with the reconstruction set to open in a few years' time, 
maybe it's a chance for the Ruku culture to get a bit more attention. Here in Okinawa, my trip across Japan is coming to an end. But there's one more thing for me to try. So, this foot. Okay, we are one. Oh my goodness. Surfing is a year round activity on these subtropical islands. <laughs> And Taishi is an organiser for Access Surf, a local charity that helps people with accessibility needs, like mine, ride the waves. Well, I have never been surfing before. Please reassure me, how many people have you taken out already? I've got the wetsuit on. Let's make the most of it, shall we? Right, let's go. <laughs> and in. Well, I've been in for You're a ritual. Now I'm going in for recreational. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This way round. With me safely on the board, the team run through a few basics. Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, so how do I fall down? I go over. Yep. And I push the ball yes, away from me. It's better. Okay. So I push away the only thing that I want to grab. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I've got the paddling. Should we try some surfing? Yeah. In my journey across Japan, I've seen that it's a country that's still bound by tradition. But I've also met people who are pushing those boundaries. And here in Okinawa, I've seen that there's more than just one traditional culture. For me, coming here in my wheelchair, there have been a few problems here and there. But opening up is a process. Whether it's opening up to foreign travel after a pandemic, or opening up to new ideas and experiences. And this has been one experience that I'm definitely going to remember.